Hey family, it's your sister Andriana Janae and I am just back with um, another video. Holy Spirit wanted me to piggyback off the word that I released yesterday in regards to um, testing before tempting. Uh, and Holy Spirit just wanted to make it clear that it is, what is that? It's, um, I rebuke every distraction in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Um, it's not even just, um, influences mask as people, right? It's not people. It's not just people influences, but what about circumstances? The influence of circumstances, the influence of things. Um, the Holy Spirit has been speaking heavy about, um, those who have given more power to, you know, um, man than God, like your finances, you've given more power to your finances than you've given it to God. Right. And he was just saying like, um, he's also saying, will the influence of your circumstances override what he has spoken? Will the influence of your circumstances override what he has spoken? Come on, Peter. Peter had the faith when it was time to get off the boat, right? Everything was cool. Everything was copacetic, right? But then the moment a little bit of turbulence, wind, storms came, then it's, you know, come on. Ooh, the disciples in the boat. How are you sleeping? And, and, and oh, come on. How are you sleeping? And there's a storm. Do you even know who's in the boat with you? Do you know who's in the boat with you? Because if you knew who, who was in the boat with you, you would be asleep too. Because all I have to do is say, peace be still. Come on. God is testing before you're tempted. Before you're tempted. Before you're tempted. So when you come into so when you come into these finances and you come into this marriage, you cannot waver because you are so firm footed and you know who your father is. You know what God has spoken. Come on. So when the enemy tries to throw counterfeit opportunities to you, you're able to stand firm on what God has spoken. Come on. When your, your spouse start acting up and the, the enemy has you questioning, oh, see, you chose the wrong one. You, skin, you can stand firm on what God has spoken. But he's saying he's testing in circumstances too. He's testing in circumstances too. He's testing in circumstances too. Are you going to stand firm in knowing that I am Jehovah Jireh, that I will provide for you? Or do you only believe that when everything is good, right? But what about, you know, what about when there's a little drought? Are you able to still to still believe that I will show up for you? Do you still believe? Are you still firm in knowing God going to show up? God going to show up? Yeah, I don't have it, but God going to show up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, bills are due. God going to show up. Car payment uh, six months past due. God going to show up. Come on. Come on. Rent almost, you know, eviction letter at the door. God going to show up. God going to show up. But it, are you only firm when it when 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 everything is cool? Everything is good, you know? Oh, yeah, God going to provide. God going to provide. God going to provide. What about in those droughts? God is testing. God is testing because he want he wants you so firm. He wants you so firm on who he is. He wants you so firm in your faith. Because I'm telling you when you come into the abundance, when you come into the promised land, when you come into the breakthrough, the enemy is going to send certain things that will have you questioning who your God is. And that is not the time to question who your God is. Before you enter into it, you need to be so firm and you need to be so secure on his love for you, who he is to you, how he provides for you. You need to be firm in knowing who your God is and that when he says he will never leave you nor forsake you, he means that. You can't wait to get into the uh, promised land to then, then when discover that. That needs to be firm now. That foundation needs to be laid now. Now. So he's testing and he's testing and he's testing so that you know who he is now. That you don't budge. That you're not budging. You do not budge. So when you come into it, you won't budge. You won't budge. You won't budge. You won't budge.
yeah. Whew. Yeah. Somebody needs to know who God is. I f somebody needs to know who. Ooh. Somebody needs to know who their God is. You need to know. 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 It is so vital. You need to know. If you don't know, the enemy is going to toss you around. Okay? You have to know. You think, oh, because when you see this old miraculous move of God, then you're going to know. Knowing is absent of the things that he does. Knowing is absent of if he does it or if, if he doesn't. That knowing is absent of what he does for you. Knowing is who he is. His character. Who he is. That's the knowing. It's not, oh yeah, he did this miraculous move. Now I get it. No, 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 no. Because just, oh, shape of book of the day. Just like the parables of the, the, the seeds. The, 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 the bird will come snatching that right out your hand. Yeah, you, 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 you're all big in faith when you see it. And then tomorrow, the end, oof, somebody needs to know, man. Oof. Somebody needs to know. Somebody, ooh, ooh, Jesus. Somebody needs to know who their God is. I pray, I pray this reaches who it's for. I know it will. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that for somebody. I feel that. I feel that. He is testing to strengthen your faith. He's testing to strengthen your faith. He's testing to strengthen your faith. He's testing to secure your faith. He needs 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 to secure your faith. We don't have any more time to doubt. There's no more time to doubt. There's no more time to doubt. There's no more time to doubt. That energy you're putting in doubting, it needs to be put in having faith. And knowing who God is. Knowing who he is. The disciples, they still didn't know who he was in that boat. They didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't know. Y'all, oof. Yeah, I love y'all. I love y'all. Everything you need is in the description box. I'll see y'all in the next video.